Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm showing you guys two recipes. These are two of my favorite recipes. So I'm going to be showing you how to make baked stuffed sweet potatoes and dessert because I always have a sweet tooth. Some protein banana muffins that are also to die for. And I can't wait to show you guys. They are so good, super healthy. If you want to build muscle, if you want to lean out, if you want to just, you know, live a healthy, not boring lifestyle you are in the right place. So I'm not gonna make this intro so long, so let's start cooking. Vamonos. The first step, you wanna start with some sweet potatoes. Um, I got these small, medium ones for roughly four ounces each, four or five ounces. So we're gonna start by poking holes on the potatoes. And um, here you can either, you, there's two ways you can do this. You can either microwave them, which is what I'm going to do because I don't have the patience. Or you can put them in the oven, bake them, whichever you like. If you don't like microwaves, I understand. Go ahead and bake them um, roughly 20 minutes or until tender. I'm going to microwave them for 4 minutes on each side. Uh, and I'm going to make sure they're tender. I think this one's going to take longer. So I'm going to put them in there. I potatoes are ready I did add an extra minute so it was a total of nine minutes they are really tender and I'm just gonna let them cool before I um, do the next step we're gonna work on our meat so I'm gonna be um, stuffing them with some ground turkey and this is the one I'm using today it's not the leanest but it's okay um, this is 93.7 and I'm gonna just cook it on your brown with some zucchini and tomato because I like to add veggies wherever I can. I would love to add onion but, but I don't have any right now which sucks. I'm gonna add some garlic powder, garlic sriracha seasoning and just a little bit of pink sea salt. Okay so our meat is ready now. Now we're gonna work with our sweet potatoes. So basically we're gonna open it in half, cut it open in half like this carefully. We're going to spoon the inside into a bowl. Add some salt, garlic, any spices you would prefer. I'm just adding my favorite. And then some paprika. You want to mash it really, really good. Okay, so we're gonna grab our skins that we saved. We're gonna put them in our pan and we're gonna add the mashed potato back in there. And we're gonna leave a little bit of room for our meat. So here they are. I am gonna weigh in my meat portion and, and the rest of the ingredients because I am tracking currently. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add my meat. So I'm using this Mexican blend from um, Costco. I already have it here measured and I'm going to add it to my potatoes. Here's what they look like right now. Now we're going to put them in the oven on broil for about 5-10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. So here it is guys. It's ready. I left it in the oven for like 10 minutes just so the cheese will melt and this would come like a little bit crisp. Here you can add um, whatever toppings you want. I added some plain Greek yogurt or you can add sour cream, but I prefer this. It's higher protein and lower fat. And avocado, I don't know, anything you want. So these are the ingredients you are going to need for our banana muffins. Dry ingredients, a scoop of Quest protein, some oatmeal, a pinch of salt, some cinnamon. Okay, and for our wet ingredients, we're going to use half a cup of almond milk, two small bananas, half a cup of plain Greek yogurt, and two egg whites and one egg. So let's get started. These muffins will actually be flourless. We're going to use oatmeal as our flour. So we're just going to blend half a cup. So half a cup, we're going to blend it until it becomes flour. So 
So as you can see, now we have all flour. So you want to have two separate bowls for your dry ingredients and your, and your wet ingredients. So here I have my oat flour. I'm going to add my, my scoop of protein. And then we're going to add... So I forgot to mention, you're also going to need some baking powder since we are baking. Uh, we're going to use one teaspoon. Some cinnamon. Honestly, I don't measure the cinnamon. And a pinch of sea salt. Is that considered a pinch? No. Okay. So we're going to mix our dry ingredients. We're going to set our dry ingredients aside and we're going to start with our wet ingredients. So first we need to mash our banana. Try to get some that are ripe, like really ripe like these. Um, your muffins are going to come out sweeter and you don't need to add as much sweetener which I forgot to also mention. You're, you're going to need some sweetener if you want to, but you want them to be a little bit extra sweet. Um, I use stevia always to sweeten my things. I'm going to use vanilla sweet drops stevia. Uh, you can also use powder if you use the powder stevia add it to your dry ingredients so i'm gonna mash my banana so it's 7.4 ounces that i'm using so seven and a half ounces now we're gonna mash it with the fork now we're gonna add one whole egg and two egg whites Half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. Make sure it's plain. The vanilla flavored or any flavored yogurts are really high in sugar and carbs, so we want to avoid that. So our last ingredient is half a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Lumps, like banana lumps, make sure you mash them really, really good. That we have everything mixed really good, we're gonna add our dry ingredients and see how it starts to thicken out if you use a different protein uh, it might be a different consistency so I do recommend that you start you add the milk little by little because quest tends to be thicker so you want this consistency see okay so here we have them I got 12 make sure you try to make um, fill them up equally um, here it's optional I'm adding some sliced almonds to some so I decided to add some like a little banana. I'm going to bake them for about 30 to 35 minutes. Again, it depends on your oven and your protein and all of that. So make sure you keep an eye. So let's put them in the oven. Okay guys, so the muffins are done. I just ate two and they were so good. I had it with some milk and some peanut butter. I hope you guys try both of these recipes. They are both super healthy and they are macro-wise very balanced like you get your protein and then your healthy fats and your complex carbs and they're just perfect like for example the muffins i like to have them like pre-workout or post-workout or even like for breakfast when i don't get to make breakfast um i have a few muffins with some peanut butter and coffee and oh my god like so good you just gotta try them i promise you're gonna love them and give them to your family members like it doesn't even seem like they are like no sugar and all of that so Please, if you try my recipes, be sure to tag me on Instagram or send me pictures. I have a few of you guys send me pictures of recipes that you guys have tried. And that just makes me really happy because I know these videos are actually helpful. And, and you guys are really getting ideas. Remember, eating healthy, have, living a healthy lifestyle shouldn't be boring. And you shouldn't just be eating boring food because it's a lifestyle. Like, you have to enjoy, you know, living this lifestyle. So just be creative and um, thank you guys for visiting me again. I love having you guys here. And if you're new, please uh, subscribe. I would love to have you as part of my family. I hope uh, all my videos are helpful like, and you guys learn something new every time you watch a new video. That is my only purpose and I'm here to help you guys. Alright guys, I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.